to go and I completely forgot the words and marked up the whole sh like whole first act of the show and it was just uh, but once you learn it if the best way I learn words if, uh, to do it is I read them during the day read them at night and then when I wake up in the morning I normally remember them it's always the best way to do it Why do you think you forgot them that, that day? Because uh, I wasn't really paying attention I don't hear it so I don't know if you'll hear it this is the funniest thing you've ever heard. Can you feel that? <laughs> it gets worse. I, I start singing colours, so there's no meant to be, meant to be there. Is that live? This is live. <gasps> this was at a night show. That isn't even meant to be there. It's meant to be in a class above the rest. And then it totally gets worse here. Then it was fine after that, but <laughs> you, uh, you can forget your words. Craig forgot his words. Craig sings Any Dream Will Do like seven times in the show and he forgot it one night. Last Any Dream Will Do he went, I drew back. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you get too comfortable with it, you do start to forget words as well, which is funny. <laughs> was somebody down here? Would you first sing on Tally or do something like this? Uh, I like to do both. Uh, like I love singing in the theatre, but to go and tell and do some singing. Like, I've got an album coming out since so I'll be doing like TV st shows in the morning and stuff. So uh, I think it's I, I, I like having an audience there though. Like it's good when you have an audience singing because you get the reaction and you're actually singing to someone. Like when you're recording in a studio as well, you don't get anyone in front of you. And it gets it's a wee bit weird. There's someone else in the front row. 